Hey guys, Braxis here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion, once again from AAV, and this is actually one I have not, I don't think I've gotten before, even though it's actually a surprisingly simple question. What happens if we tidally lock Earth? Now, I'm not too sure if the game actually supports this parameter. I know I can tidally lock it, but what I mean by that is I don't know if it's actually going to heat up on one side and stay cool on the other. Or if like life is going to die on this side of the planet or be different. I think it's uh, completely average surface temperature, but I don't really know. Um, so I guess that's what we're here to find out. Let's see if uh, the game actually supports this. I believe I want to go under motion and change the rotational speed to, well, essentially match the orbital period. So let's see. Rot okay, so there's a rotational period. I want this to be days and I want it to be 365. Well, not exactly, but we'll go with that. So it's essentially tidally locked now. Uh, let's see, where is its orbital? There it is, 365, and if we go to exact, we'll go with seconds. So, let's go ahead and do that. That way we get it one for one. There we go. Well, let's just see what happens. And it looks like we are going to be uh, cooking the United Kingdom, Europe, a little bit of Russia, bit of India, Africa, Egypt. Yeah, this is this is not going to be good. Oh, there's a uh, Greenland. Then Iceland, I believe is right here. And a little bit of the east coast of the United States and some of South America. Antarctica looks like it's going to be fine, but let's see if it actually uh, turns into a snowball. So let's go ahead and speed up time and see what happens. So it should rotate one for one with the sun now. And that is certainly what it's doing. So this side of the planet, it's always facing towards the sun. Look at the, what's going on with the climate here. It's actually like flickering. Let's go to climate. Okay, so let's just turn this off and turn it back on. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's, if it's like just behaving weird or if it even knows what to do, but it's like flickering. Let's uh turn the light to flashlight. Oh, it, it is actually freezing on this side of the world. Look at that. The polar caps are actually changing a lot. The texture is flickering, which is a bit weird, but it, it's doing it. It's actually doing it properly. So this side is freezing, and all the uh, terrain is also freezing on this side of the world, and it is turning into like a kind of half snowball earth, I guess. Oh, look at that. The, the south area of Africa is actually frozen. This is a bit weird. Just make it go so fast. There we go. That's a bit better. Make it go so fast that you can't even see the flicker. Oh yeah, it, it, it's actually working. Uh, let's just go ahead and pause this here. Oh, okay. Well, that was a bit weird. Um, this part of the world is actually drying out, and a lot of its green texture is actually fading. And then this side is freezing over. But as soon as I pause it, for some reason, Antarctica turned frozen. That's a bit weird. Let's uh, go ahead and resume it. There it goes. But yeah, you can see this side of the world is actually completely dry. A little bit of green right there in the uh, east coast of America, and it looks like it is now going through its seasons, because it is still a tilted planet. And still orbits with a little bit of eccentricity and inclination, so it's still going through its seasons. It just looks like the only survivable parts of the world are kind of right here on the edges of where it's kind of uh, frozen over and I guess very hot. It's right on the edges where it's always going to be pretty much close to sunset. So it's kind of like uh, the planets that we see in Space Engine where you can see like their half thought and all that. Yeah, and as soon as I pause the game it does that which is a little bit weird but yeah. So I can't really pause it. I could try to slow it down, but it might start flickering. Yeah. So can't really do much about that. So I kind of have to follow it like this, which is a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know if I, there's a way I could actually lock with the uh, rotation of the planet in this game. I know I could do that with Space Engine. 
But yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think it's going to display an accurate temperature though. Yeah, it's going to go for the average, which is currently 10 degrees Celsius. But there you go. That is what happens if you uh, totally lock Earth with the sun. The area of the world is just kind of cooked, and this area is the only really habitable region. Over here is going to be completely frozen. And if we go to realistic, you can see there's still city lights. The night side of the world. So that's pretty cool. You can tell. Uh, based on where the uh, world is actually positioned, it actually still does have like kind of seasons, as you can tell. So it is actually illuminating certain parts of the world at the uh, kind of... I don't know what you'd call this. I guess this is still technically the equator, so... You can see it mostly around the poles. You don't see it so much on the sides here. But you can see as it's rotating, the uh, lighting actually tilts. So... During certain parts of the year, this part of the world will be illuminated, and then it'll just fade back to a night sky. So, that's really cool. Anyways, uh, that's what happens if you tidally lock Earth. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. I just bought the game uh, Besiege, so I'm definitely going to be playing that a little bit on this channel. Uh, maybe later today. This is probably going to be my only Universe Sandbox 2 video for today. I might get around to Space Engine Exploration, depending on how much time I have. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.